Hello guys, James here, and welcome back to my 13th episode now in my Road to Glory on Creep 19 Ultimate Team on the Nintendo Switch. So today, this episode, we are basically going to start off by completing this uh, costume SPC that was from the uh, Screamer promo. Um, and then, yeah, very simple, a few goals, a few bronzes, basically done as cheap as I could again. Uh, luckily had that Italian League player to put in there. So that was very nice indeed. Um, then you see me here completing this week's marquee matchups with the Turkish League One, the um, Premier League Arsenal Liverpool. It's got uh, a Spanish League One, and also I don't know what that fourth one is. You'll see in a sec here. But again, completed it very cheaply, and um, but all of these just like I said before, getting those strong links with those high um, nations from the same league and stuff. And then uh, Belgium, that's what it was. Belgium League using all these bronzes up and uh, just doing really well out of it. And uh, eventually it's going to pay off. But yeah, basically this episode, it's going to be seeing these SBCs. Um, then I'll show you a load of this old stuff that you see in a minute. Um, and then I'll show you a quick squad update, which is actually an update of after I've played the Champion Shield, which you'll see all the games and stuff and that but I'll show you the squad after that because I bought some players sort of during it and that but yeah you'll see the squad before and then the all the gameplay and stuff from the tournament and then I've basically I've got eight packs because I've got the Champions Edition pack from this week the five packs from Marquee Matchups uh, which is how many is that that is a six then um, another pack from this uh, Scream SBC and then a another pack which you'll see where we get that from later in the episode but thanks so much for watching all these episodes guys support is great loving the comments just like I say every time keep interacting I just love it, it makes it so worthwhile doing and uh, yeah really feel like the club's in a good place now and starting to really get the coins flowing in and uh, as you see loads of stuff selling in bronze, um, in bronze packs Another thing I've started doing, you'll see here, uh, bronze player contracts that are shiny, they definitely sell, whereas the non-shiny ones don't, and obviously use them on my players because they don't sell. But yeah, the, the shiny ones, the rare ones, make sure you're selling them because you might as well get the coins back because if you're having a pack and your shiny item is the contract and then you get a fitness in that as well, that's instant money back plus a few, few players you'll get for SBCs and all that. So uh, yeah, it's more coins, and I'm also trying out the rare manager ones because if they sell, then that's something else you can sell as well. But I shall sure get back to you on that to uh, see if they do or not. But uh, yeah, this is the team, guys. Similar to uh, before, but we've got Leno in goal for four thousand coins. I just felt the last few um, sort of games, and well, for a little while, I thought Gita was getting a bit. There's a few goals, like there was one a couple of episodes, or maybe just the last episode, where uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, scored at the near post, which just I hate and can't be happening. So I've upgraded 4,000 coins, 84 rated Leno from Arsenal, which is I think is a very good acquisition. And uh, yeah, who else is in there? We've got uh, this new is base. I think it's just Robertson that's new, but I'll just show you the squad. And then this is the first game in the champion shield which is the gold tournament basically which is there all uh, year long but basically the first time you win it you get a gold pack and 3,000 coins and then just 3,000 coins after that so to be honest it's only really worth playing and winning once so that is what we try and do here today and we start off in the first game against this guy who had a solid Premier League team with uh, informed by being one of the standout players we do take the lead in the 13th minute with Jamie Vardy, he is a great player, loved him last year, loved, this, loved him again this year, and uh, another great finish, facing away from goal on that one, and he somehow managed to spin and shoot it past the keeper, so that was very nice indeed, still only 25 minutes on the clock, and we're running forward here with Adama, try all right, and then he plays it back to Rashford for an easy tap in, and uh, yeah, this game is a bit odd, I'll uh, explain in a second, but You'll see we do actually get another goal here pretty much straight away, still not even 30 minutes on the clock, so just after kickoff almost. Working it forward to the two man you guys and Herrera and Fred 
working up the pitch and Fred finishing it off nicely with a little uh, deft touch under the keeper there and uh, that was 4-0 basically and then what happened here was this guy he just kept holding the ball um, for the rest of that half near enough and I sort of tried to get it off him and that and then to start off the second half he, I don't know whether he stopped playing and went away for that bit but I managed to get the ball back get that fifth goal to get maximum coin bonus but then what basically what happened for the rest of the game was me holding the ball and then waiting for him to start playing again, get the ball back and it was just back and forth like that, very weird but yeah we get the 5-0 win and max some coins for the goals and bits. Into the second game now in the Champions Shield, um, Francisco I have a very very nice and high rated uh, Bundesliga team, he's got Iron Robin in there, Werner, uh, who is it left wing, I can't remember who he had left wing now but a good team. We had Hummels at the back. Now though, in there, Muller. But we uh, we do start off third minute, getting another goal with Vardy, proving to be a great signing. And uh, yeah, I do love Vardy. He's got an engine on him. He run all game. Dribbling is not the best, but it's more than adequate to do what you need to do. And then his finishing is just great. I love it. And uh, he's got a surprising amount of strength, obviously, for his slight frame, just like in real life. So they've done that well in uh, to match that in game basically I just switched off here I think I was distracted by something while I was playing this game and um, he scored straight off a kick off fair enough to the guy who took that chance with Werner and then basically straight after that again he's running forward just the waves sort of parted in my defence in midfield and he runs through Robin and slots that in to take a 2-1 lead on the 8th minute but we wasn't done there and we were putting a lot of pressure on into about the 30th minute now work it up to Vardy, he takes a shot, the goalie saves it, bounces up and Adama is there to jump over his uh, left back, I don't know who that was but yeah he managed to get a header in and pull it back level on the 30th minute so that was very good indeed and uh, nice to get the leveller before half time so it was less pressure on us to get another goal but then we actually do work here on the left wing with Rashford, Can't he just can't get a touch of him, can't get tackling and uh, yeah, he dribbles and weaves in and out and finishes out nicely into the bottom corner. So we take a 3-2 lead. And then, not long after that, then 40th minute, we're still up the pitch, putting the pressure on. Rashford takes a shot, it rebounds kindly to Fred and there's going to be no mistakes made there. I do love Fred, he's a great little player. Only thing you'd say, maybe he's sort of, he's quite like Kante, but almost better at the attacking aspect but not as good in the defending but they are both small but great at just buzzing around winning the ball back and then pretty much uh, not long into the second half we get a nice bit of play working forward into Adama again he slots it through to Vardy and he takes a touch opens his body up finesses that past the keeper and that was it for this guy and he was off so that was the second game 5-2 win and a uh, very nice indeed now into the semi-finals we go and we come up against this guy who's got a sort of mainly French league team um, with Skriniar in at the uh, centre-back position linking with Chesney and then linking with Glick to get quite a strong centre-back partnership going but we uh, we do start off and I remember this game This the first part of this game was crazy we had loads of the ball and loads of shots and that should have scored more goals but we get this rebound goal with Lucas Torreira very nice getting that early on in the game to put the pressure on and then this goal later on in the game only the 25th minute though and a uh, nice work you see that quite a few goals that Richard Alden scores is like that dribbling through just a tidy finesse past the goalie and that was enough for this guy he'd seen enough and uh, yeah that sort of reiterates the fact well pardon me very unprofessional bourbon but um, yeah we were dominating and 2-0 he knew that he was going to lose that one I think and then into the final we go, we come against this all Spanish squad and a decent team but there was a few areas like up front, he had Rodrigo but Morata's not that quick so he's not that frightening and then he had Albiol and his two wing backs not so his whole defence didn't have great pace that gave me confidence and we started off again quickly in this one, 8th minute goal with Wilfred Zaha finessing that past the keeper and uh, yeah doing well but then this guy again like the last couple of games he's got a goal straight back with a uh, Manu Trigueros which was very frustrating indeed 
and uh, this guy was a very good player to be honest, he was giving me grief all the time and defending well against all my attacks, but we uh, we managed to last out that 45 minutes with any pressure that he was getting on, giving us, we were working it forward here and you see a crazy bit of lag started happening in the second half, but working forward to Isquedo and uh, a nice touch around the defender and slots it past the goalie, and then into just before the 70th minute now, Zahar on the wing, and uh, he plays it back to Isquedo, who's in the middle. Defender gets a sliding, good block, and uh, quite unlucky for the guy, lucky for us. Just rebounds straight up nicely for Isquedo on the volley, and he bangs out with his left foot into the top bin. So, taking a 3 1 lead into the final in the second half. I'd be confident against a lot of people that we could uh, keep that going. And then, uh, yeah. Later on in the game, he had a red card by this point and he did get another one afterwards, but Decore, who's a great player, I love him. Um, it reminds me of sort of Yaya Toro, just an unbelievable player going forward and back really. But uh, that was it, we do win 4-1 guys. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of this uh, post crunchy part of the video. So I shall see you just in a second as you see we pick up packs and that there in the live pack opening section. See you in a bit. Hello guys, back again. As you would have seen just now, we won the Gold Cup and that means we have another gold pack to add to our collection of packs to open in this live section of the video. And uh, yeah, we've got the eight to open. I'm gonna get straight into it. Uh, like I've said before in a couple of uh, videos, Obviously, my computer's here where you're looking at me on the camera, but my actual TV where I play is here, so that's why I've got different viewing angles. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. And uh, basically, uh, we can clear a few bits that have sold on here quickly. All these just manager contracts that I've been selling off as I don't need them. And then, yeah, like I said, these manager ones, the bronze ones, do sell, so that's definitely something worth doing indeed. And just a few bits there. Clear that and then get straight into these packs. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed, it's a good team of the week. We can uh, get some good. We'll start off with a silver pack. Not really going to get anything good in here, so I'll skip this. But we shall send all of this into the club and it'll all be very worthwhile at some point or another. And then all of that, to be honest, can get quick sold because it's just rubbish really and then let's have a look we've got a gold pack, a few mixed players pack, a small mixed players pack that we can do now because this is probably not going to be great but uh, what can we get in here? Sent back, there's Mina from uh, Everton who is a, is a duplicate but we should send all of this up. Yeah, silver PSG guy could be uh, coming handy. We'll send Mina off to the transfer list and we'll discard this into this guy. Not a great start, but still, all these players are adding to the club very good indeed. Electron players pack. Now, this we've only got six gold items out of the 12, so uh, who is this? Pulisic from uh, Dortmund. That's quite a nice card. And uh, yeah, definitely someone we might have a look at using as a sub. Or, uh, seeing how much he goes for, but yeah, nothing of massive note in there. We'll send that all up to the club, but we're definitely making uh, making good strides forward. And another prime election players pack. Can we get anything better in this? Yeah, like I said, great team of the week. Who's this? Oh, Leon Goretzka, guys. I think that is like a 10k player. Let's quickly have a look at what he goes for. That is decent, that's looking like 15, maybe 13k, but that is great. That is a great, great card to get, look at them stats. And then, uh, nothing amazing, but uh, all good to add to the club as per usual. We'll send both of them up, and we'll go on quick sell to the transfer list so we can sell them on. Let's have a look at what we've got left. Uh, we we'll go with the normal gold pack. So this is the one from the uh, winning the tournament, the Champion Shield. Shiny player, CDM. Only Mate, but uh, yeah, is what it is. We'll actually send him to the transfer list. Actually, we'll do this like this for now. Send him back to the club. 
that we are to be sold. And I think that is it. So actually transfer this and discard the rest of that. So nothing amazing here, but that correct score alone is probably page for the marquee matchups and the screen rest we see the costume one you would have seen us do. So that is great. Um, what do we want to do? I think we'll go with rare gold pack next. At least we get should we get free Hokey Karate, which is not amazing, but Pavard's decent there and he might sell. We'll send all of this up to the club for now. Myself, but nothing, yeah. Like I said, Goretzka, the only one of note, as we have two jumbo premium gold packs left. Can we get anything good? It's a great team of the week this week, right mid Argentinian Rigoni. Not great, nice 282 ratings there, both from the Liga Santander. So that's not bad. And uh, yeah, like just look at all these players, if they even if these all just go for their minimum prices. It's a lot of coins and then these contracts will sell, the managers will sell, fitness will sell. Uh, what I've been doing is just storing the um keep that one with that can be discarded, that can be discarded, they all run to the club. Uh, them two can be sold on yeah, we'll discard that. But yeah, like I said, all of these um all of the stuff just makes big coins back, even if we don't get anyone good, but who's this? Two for Moteng is not great, so Goretzka is our best card in this pack open, guys. And uh, yeah, very nice card to get indeed. Uh, as we see, all of this art. That's going to sell a lot of things. We send this, this, and then these two players up to the transfer list, all to be sold on discard that. But yeah, before we end the video, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. All your support is greatly appreciated and it makes me uh, so much more motivated to do this and uh, yeah hit me up on Twitter and Instagram in the description link me a team send me a teams and uh, yeah if you could like comment and subscribe on the video that would be very much appreciated but for now that is it and I shall see you in the next one thanks for watching see you later guys